Welcome to Tuesday Night Torg. I am JM the GM. We are on the Ulysses International Channel, and these are the horsemen. Um, Anton doing the traditional uh, Tuesday Night Dance. Um, if you are tuning in for the first time, this is the Ulysses International Channel. We run games on Tuesdays and Thursday nights. Tuesday nights is Torg. Thursday nights is Fading Suns. Um, there's a ton of great other shows. You should definitely check them out. Um, but we're just going to uh, jump in here. First of all, we have some comments that I always enjoy reading off the bat. Uh, Jared, I hope you are here. Um, if you are not, I hope you enjoy uh, the call out on the YouTube channel. And uh, Josh, uh, thank you for always uh, commenting on our videos. Uh, he says that, you know, maybe V should have called uh, the werewolf a bad puppy as opposed to a bad dog. Maybe. Um, last time, the group uh, took a much needed respite or respite at the uh, safe house of the Frenchman, where they met a elven uh, mage uh, named Augustus who was um, in a certain state of disrobe ness um, when the group busted in and Edith specifically. Um, uh, was transposed in the shower, uh, fully clothed, Edith in the shower, naked out, elf towering off. Um, you guys uh, interrogated him for information, asked for some, uh, some healing, and then decided at the end of it that uh, even though he confirmed that Lapis had gone to Tharkold, that perhaps your best option was to go forward uh, to, or go back, I should say, to um, the bay where uh, the Delphi Council's ship is and, and, and meet up with Sebastian uh, and see if he had any sort of information or um, ability to um, kind of help you, any resources, any intelligence. And so that is where we will start for tonight. Also, as always, hello chat. I hope you are doing well tonight. And thank you to JD, who is tirelessly uh, producing this show behind the scenes. So, anyway. As you get back down to the bay, it has not been that long. You still see smoke pouring from the side of the Reagan. You still see uh, a number of smaller ships have come, come up alongside it. Um, they are using... Um, Various methods to sort of stabilize the ship, kind of get the hull patched, put the fires out. Uh, you can see already uh, tugboats are sort of stabilizing it and pulling it closer to uh, the docks. There are small ferries moving back and forth to um, take people off of the aircraft carrier and bring them back to land. When you get down there, um, it does not take you very long to figure out... Uh, it does not take you very long to figure out how, where Quinn has set up. Uh, one of the um, larger docks has actually been cleared. A perimeter has been set up, and they're actually setting up sort of um, mobile uh, field tents with the Delphi Council um, and the UN logo on them. And uh, Greg, there, there is, Greg has said that there's a, an ammo shortage, which is why Lady Salvo is not able to make it tonight. And so I'm just going to tell you guys, you, don't, you, have no, you have no ammo. The chat has, has spoke. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Um, but very soon you are, oh, you are escorted uh, into this uh, command tent. Um, a large table set up that is actually, um, you can't tell if it was designed this way or just a large uh like monitor or television that has been laid out but it has satellite feeds it has images of the bay the ship um, where the helicopters most likely landed in the in the city um, you can see that the images get a little fuzzy as they uh, move away from where the reagan is docked and like more inland more towards the living land um, the satellite images are still working, but basically you just see a bunch of forests, uh, except for that like large swath of trees that has been taken down by a herd of something that is moving to the southwest. And Sebastian looks up. 
It is, and they are. Um, Sebastian looks up. Ah, welcome back. Did you catch her? No. Your stunned silence and fallen faces do not bode well. What happened? There's one of them special trees. There was three with, with wolves and gas pod things. What kind of tree? Are you speaking of a nightmare tra- tree or something? Did Lapis go through the tree? Uh, we think so. Dim thread tree. This Didn't coast? We see what What's that? Didn't some of us see her go through? I I tracked her like this is where she was, and then all of a sudden she was far away. We just assumed. Carry on. Yep. Which would be one way to get from one continent to the other in the blink of an eye. As it were. No, that was a very tough fight. I mean, werewolves around a dim thread tree makes sense. Right? Orange's reality holds sway around those things, but. Damn, I thought we had taken care of most of those trees. At least on the Korath side. We're supposed to be patrolling them. You, where did you find it? In big grassy park area in Sydney. Uh, you see he starts to like circle areas on the map and um, as he sort of interacts with the table you can see that it looks like he's sending patrols out to go check that out <sighs> alright well if she's gone what do you have for me then do you know where she went do we have any leads whatsoever I want the woman who blew a hole in the side of my ship uh, we think she's in Tharkold yeah. Do you know anyone named Augustus? Besides the old emperor. Uh, Quinn seems very uh, stunned that that uh, Anton would make the uh, the Rome reference. And <laughs> I saw series on on TV. I don't know exactly what you are talking about, but no, I'm not familiar with anyone named Augustus. Why? Well, we met him. He's an associate of the woman who blew a hole in your boat. Um, It's from Isle. And he was the one who told us that he thinks she's headed to Thurgold. Well, did you... Is the dim... Red tree destroyed, or could you still travel through it after her? It's destroyed, but he's the one who helped to build it. How much do you know about our relationship with Volkov? Nothing. Literally nothing. Nothing? There's a dog taking advantage. Yes. Listen, President Volkov is nominally a member of the Delphi Council. He is the president of, of Russia and at least in official channels part of the core Earth resistance. But I am uncertain of where his actual loyalties lie. He seems too opportunistic. Is there any chance that this Lapis is working with... Did she flee to Tharkold because she thought you wouldn't go after her there? Or did she flee to Tharkold because she has allies? No, she's going to the Wolf's Den. She has allies there. She's looking for some sort of birdman. A 
Birdman? As far as I know, none of our dossiers have any sort of cyber demons that look like birds. No, no. He's Storm Knight who has name like Bird. Archibald Peacock. Da, him. No, oh, the sergeant afoot. I saw that report come through my desk. Something had to do with Lapis. Um, hold on. There was an incident in the Nile Empire. Lapis was left for dead or presumed dead. Oh, gods below, is he going after is she going after her old team? I That's what it would seem. I can't imagine that she would be able to pull these resources together out of nowhere just to enact some sort of plan of vengeance. Very well. Listen, as you might imagine, we have our hands full with damage control. What do you need from me? Right now, in this uh, moment. I can't promise that this sort of... And he looks right at you, B, that this sort of light of communication will remain open directly. But for right now, what can I... How can we help? Healing and ammunition. Yes. Information. And I can definitely provide the second two. It looks like you've already been patched up. I'll see. I need to rest again. Where is that... Simon? Yeah, Simon. See if we have any of those potions from Isle. You know the ones. Right away, sir! I know who he's going to give those to. What... What information do you need? Well, it sounds like you don't have information about um, what Lapis will be doing in Tharfold, and I was hoping that uh, we would have some more information before going in blind. Um, Did she give you any information? On, did you hear overhear anything? Anything that might have given you an idea of where she may be going? You just kept saying stuff about the wolf's den. Going back to the wolf's den. And Anton doesn't know where that's at, being from Tharkol, right? That's some sort of secret place? Uh, the wolf's den does not sort of stick out to you. Um, give me a... Just give me a straight mind roll. Uh, Phantom of Truth believes that Lopitz can gather the power she needs. Yeah, I think she's been planning this payback for a while, so... What'd you get there, Anton? Uh, seven modified. Yeah, you don't know. Has the weasel said anything? No. I don't know what you did to him, V, but he's finally waking up. Maybe you can go get some more information out of him. I'll run I'll run this wolf's den through um, intelligence and see what, what they can get me. In the meantime, as soon as I find out if we have any healing potions, I'll let you know. Ammunition? Okay. Any, uh, any ammunition? We can recharge whatever you need, V, and I'm sure we can provide ammo for, uh, well, regular ammo for Edith. This might be a good time, if I were a GM, to tell you that you should craft more bolts <laughs> for your... Yeah, given, given the fact that uh, I suspect we're going after werewolves again... I'm going to grab some more silver bolts. I 
I'll go sit in a chair or a cot somewhere and try to recover myself while you guys discuss things for at least one hour. I'll go see if I can get anything else out of Weasel. All right, so Edith is crafting silver bolts per... Uh, so, boltsmith, boltsmith, same same thing. Anton, you were desperately trying to knit your wounds closed. And V uh, is going to take the spotlight here for a bit. She goes to uh, investigate, uh, interrogate, I should say, the weasel. Um, that that uh, sergeant who was sort of coordinating everything last time, she kind of nods and follow me, I'll escort you to where the prisoner's at. And she heads out and Simeon kind of comes up. I, we have, we have one of them. The rest of the stores look like they were stolen. Who Reed. needs it the most? And Quinn says, I don't care who needs it the most. I need my command tent back at this point. We'll let you know what we find. And so Simeon takes the two of you to kind of a, uh, a, a small trailer that they have, they have pulled in. Um, it's sort of set up. Um, there's a couch. There's a couple of, you know, pull-out beds that kind of fold out of the wall. And um, a large enough table for you to craft your bolts. But I'm you're... I'm occupying a bed. You're, all right. You can go ahead and give me the roll, Mark. V, you, um, she leads you to a small um, area where you uh, can see, um, as you kind of walk into this, uh, one of these dockside warehouses, inside, uh, there's a large area, you can see the boxes have been moved back, you can see the scrapes on the floor where it looks like they were just, like, pushed back against the concrete. And sitting in the center of this first floor, in what seems to be a Faraday cage, um, kind of, there's a chair, and they've set up a small cot in this area. It's a very poorly made Faraday cage, as if they just sort of built it uh, rather quickly. But you see um, the weasel, and he is definitely wearing a kind of uh, uh, um, orange... Uh, like an orange jumpsuit. Like all of his other things have been taken away. He's wearing an eye patch. Um, where you, you know. Relieved him of his eye. And um, he goes, oh, Merd. What do you want? I'm just, I thought we could talk about your boss a little bit more. Listen, do you know you what know happens to, uh, is going to happen to me? I know you said I that you my... would get me sent back to the cyber papacy, but it turns out that when your boss uh, blows a hole in the side of the Delphala Council's ship, um, I, was, I was told where I was going. Um, it does not have a name. It does not have a designation. I was just told I was going in a hole in the ground for a very very long time. Well, our our choices have consequences. Um, and all I can say is you chose poorly in your friends. Um, did you know she was planning to blow the boat up, Weasel? No. I was there to unscramble a uh, or assemble a, a series of code to uh, decrypt some data and it was supposed to be a simple exfiltration of data but here we are did, he is not drinking coffee he, just just <laughs> me did he did you ask any questions about the data you were pulling out what she was planning to use it for, or were you just tempted by the money and didn't ask enough questions? Oh, I was specifically paid enough money to not ask questions. 
You didn't even peek, though? I... You know, you don't ask questions, and you still know what you're doing. Yes, I had part A of the key. I never received part B. So it never oh, zippered together. Listen, I don't know who pissed her off. But oh. someone did. Um, can you tell me anything about this wolf's den? She seems to have run off to Tharkold to lick her wounds. Welcome, Lady Salvo! Welcome, thank you. <laughs> I will give you a Sorry. recap here in a Unwindably second. Unwindably delayed. No, nah, don't worry about it. <sighs> Um, so the group is at the, uh, at the bay, uh, talking with, uh, well, Anton is re resting, Edith is crafting bolts, and V is interrogating, um, the weasel to try and find out a little more information about... Yes, good about idea. Lapis. <sighs> I'm sorry, what was your question, Maddie? Um, just wanted to know, so do you know anything about this wolf's den? Because Lapis apparently has retreated there to lick her wounds. Listen, um, I do not mean to be rude, but I have no drink, I have no cigarettes, and I am, and he kind of runs his fingers across the, the Faraday cage wiring. I am, uh... <laughs> disinclined to acquiesce to your request. <laughs> now, and when you say hastily assembled Faraday cage, you're talking like a dog kennel? No, they they, 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 they have it. They have sort of a, a, a cell, but the wiring around it to kind of block out any signals like inside, you know, from inside or out, that looks to be a little bit slapdash. That may have been the fanciest way to say no I've ever heard. <laughs> Remarks Lady Salvo. <laughs> um, Lady Salvo he... steps out of the shadows of the warehouse right next to <laughs> me. <laughs> oh, merd again! <laughs> does he have any kind of glass in the cage with him? No. And I must say, these... Uh... Orange is a good color on you, Weasel. Ah, the last time we had this discussion, you said yellow was. Well, you know, it changes with the season. Warm colors in one season, cool colors in another. Branching out in your warm colors really does a lot for your complexion. I'm going to lean over and stage whisper to uh, Anton. Is, is it actually... Oh, no, so Anton, Anton and Edith are recovering <coughs> in a trailer. Oh. It's just you and, and V but in I'll... room. I'll stage whisper to V that are, is it after Labor Day? Um, I've lost track of time. <laughs> um, I'll pull out of my coat pocket a flask and say, "I can reward you with a drink if you are forthcoming with information." How about these? The drink for one question, more for. Uh... I realize that the Delphi Council is going to make me uh, disappear. But I'm sure that there are varying degrees of disappearing. Metal cot in a concrete room disappearing, or access to media in a comfy bed disappearing. Weasel, we both know they're not going to give you access to any technology. They're not that stupid books and an overstuffed chair okay we and can wine. see about the books and wine. wine well what if I tell you this is a really great vintage does that get me two questions no I'm still sitting in a cage in orange look Weasel, we all make mistakes oh, you're in Jersey not orange <laughs> 
The only wine around here is coming out of his mouth. <laughs> it's very true. He sits down on his cot. I think I could get used to this. <laughs> so, I will slide the flask in. It is plastic. There are no metal components on it. Okay. But slide that in. <laughs> you do realize that you are a philistine for keeping wine in a plastic flask. Yeah, but it gets me through metal detectors. That's fair. Ask your question. Yeah. Actually, she's a Huguenot. <laughs> I believe I already have. What can you tell me about the wolf stand? Mm. The wolf stand was always meant to be a... Not a... A retreat, but the next step on the, on the path. If you forced her there early, I'm sure that she is... I've never met someone with so much hatred for Storm Knights of the Delphi Council, but I am sure that you have uh, made it onto her list. Lapis is a she is Vendetta personified. Wrongs so is it against her? Have you met the dwarves of Isle with their grudge filled no. books? Um, no, she is. She is a person who walks around the world with every indignity remembered, every insult, every betrayal wets her like steel, refining her into a razor's edge. I, for one, am glad I'm going into a hole for the next several rest of my life. Sounds like she could use a teddy bear and a hug. Yes, I'm sure. Much like a cactus could use a hug. Listen. So is this place booby-trapped? I do not know. It was a place to go to, to... She referred to it as an interlude. A place between acts. Honestly, it sounded quite nice. But my role was done as soon as we went to the wolf's den. From there, I had transport, money, and plan to return to the cyber papacy. I'm tired of being among heathens. Aren't we all? Your flask is empty. It was just a taste of home. Hmm. If you can get me more. If the information is good. This is not like your last attempt, which ended in, uh... Orange. Again, I said it suits you well. Yes. And I'm sure if we were on the opposite sides of the cage, you would say the same thing. Do you know what it is like being in one of these things? All of the... Mm -hmm. All of that seventh cyber sense that we develop is gone. It's like uh, like losing an eye. <laughs> that one I'm not as familiar with. I can see the appeal of Vendetta. Vendettas burn bright for a while, but then once they are finished, you have no more purpose. Hmm. I believe it was a, uh, a man from Tharkold who once said it is better to burn out than to fade away. I think I'd prefer to fade away. 
you come back with a deal, I will tell you what I know about the wolf's den. Until Let's then, your word. And he tosses it and hits with this dull, uh, hollow thump. So he kind of tosses it to the floor of his cell. Your promises are empty. Fair enough. No, walk it. Okay. I'll follow. All right. In the, uh, in the, uh, trailer, <laughs> uh, Sammy goes, no, well, which one, of, which one of you needs, needs this? The, I, uh, most. If it's been an hour, I, I rolled really well. I got outstanding success, so I finally heal some wounds. All right. How many wounds did you heal? Three. That's Ooh. my outstanding success. Woo. Nice. I still have one. <laughs> but there might be. Because the GM came those after you. Others more. Give me another hour. I'll do this again. I'll be here all week, people. Well, I mean, we do we need this? Should I put it back in in requisition? Feel free to take it, Edith. You know he wants to give it to you. Wait, what is it? A healing potion. potion. Strictly a healing yeah. potion. Give you the healing potion. Yes. I, I take it. Uh, it restore. It, it smells faintly of um, lilacs, cinnamon, and um, <laughs> several other earthy scents. Uh, but when you drink it almost immediately, you can feel energy kind of flowing back through your body. Oh, am I drinking it? I don't think I need to. Oh. Uh... Do you not have any wounds? Sorry, I thought I, I thought I was taking it for later. I think that Anton should drink it. Oh, well, he just hands it to you because that's what he uh, was told to do. Yeah. V, are you heading back to the trailer? Uh, you and Lady Salvo, where are you guys headed? I'll head back to the trailer. Um, based on the weasel's accent, can I tell which part of France he's from? You can. <laughs> As Jam quickly Googles areas of France. <laughs> Regional <laughs> accents of France. Uh, he, is from he is from Picardy. <laughs> <laughs> of course he is. Uh, of course he is. Um, then I will make a mental note, and when I requisition, try and requisition some wine from that region, hopefully to curry a little more favor. Alright, I, I just have to say that uh, Restar gets another possibility. <laughs> if the trailers are rocking, heal wounds and shockings. <laughs> well done, sir. <laughs> Just well done. Um, wow. Uh, so as you guys enter the enter the trailer, you can definitely see Edith kind of at the table with, you know, a small ball peen hammer, kind of hammering out uh, silver uh, bolt tips for her for her crossbow. Uh, Lady Salvo and V kind of walk in. Anton's got fresh scars that are healed over. Uh, as the chat pointed out, he did take that hit to charisma, so. You know. Oof. Um, all right, so, V, you and Lady Salvo enter the trailer. Edith, you're the expert. Do you think it would be worthwhile for me to requisition some silver bullets for my 45s? Uh, I think that if you do not requisition silver bullets, you're going to be at a disadvantage. <laughs> so I'll look at the guy. It's our old friend Simon. I can I, I can definitely find I mean that's my like my role here for you is to sort of uh scrounge what I can. I'd be glad, Lady Salvo, to try and find you some silver bullets. You said forty five caliber? Yes. I will be right back. 
and he sort of heads out um, with a with sort of a skip in his step as if uh, you know he's been floundering since Philadelphia but now has purpose and and goes out into the Delphi Council compound to uh, find silver bullets for uh, Lady Selva I look between him and Edith and him and Edith and then I just shake my head <laughs> better that way <laughs> all right v this seems to be your session tonight so what's uh what are you sharing she's the brains uh, of the outfit Did, have, do you not realize that <laughs> well re- really it's uh during action scenes we sort of flash to uh like anton and lady salvo tend to like pair off and and, and go chasing bad guys but really it's either v's brains or edith's glare uh, those are the two things that kind of move us between action scenes. Uh, um, so the weasel doesn't really want to talk. I can't blame him. He broke his eye. He's now in prison. We did save his life, so I feel like he's a little too bitter, considering. Um, he did say that we seem to have thrown Rapus off her schedule. If she's going to the wolf's den that's kind of a safe house, more of a respite. That's not the final showdown, so to speak. Um, if we can ply him with more wine and cigarettes, he might be more willing to talk or just maybe a ruse to get him some wine and cigarettes to pass the time in the dark, dark hole that he now lives in. Yeah. Um, so my concern at this point, if we think that he knows something else, I think that it, that it'll be worth the time we need to take to get it out of him, but uh, the longer we wait, the more of a foothold Lapis will get. Mm-hmm. I mean, I was thinking we can pass this nugget along to Quinn. They can fly him. I mean, maybe if they just get him real blitzed, he'll be more forthcoming. Um, you know, pontificate. Um, so maybe pass that along and have them send us any information they get. I, I... I leave it up to you guys, but we didn't really get much out of him because, you know, he's kind of pissed. What kind of answers are we looking for? We're trying to figure out what uh, Lothus might be doing, why she has gone to the wolf's den, and what she's doing in Tharkold. I mean, this would be good to know, but ultimately, don't we need to face her anyway? Yes, but if we can have some idea of her plan we will be able to do it more intelligently. Maybe uh, more specifically than... where the wolf's den is so we don't have to flounder and Tharkold looking for it and tip her off. Yeah. If we're there, we could like zip in real quick and get her. She has to be losing allies because we're either incapacitating them or capturing them. And so that doesn't bode well for people she'll try to hire, I think. But we need Would... to get her before she gets more allies. Would Quinn have any intel as to where the rest of her team currently is residing? You go talk to him. I mean, that might be worthwhile because it sounds like she's... What Weasel said is, is she is bent on revenge. And so maybe knowing the location of her party might help know us to know where the next hammer might fall. On a scale of 1 to 10, how critical is this information for us to know? I think it would be helpful to know where, at least where it's at in Tharkold. I mean, that's a big swath of land to try to figure out where she's at. Why do well, you ask? There's, 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 a, there's a couple of possibilities, she says with a smirk, that do <laughs> that, that occur to me. Um, there, there are some Storm Knights who, who say that you can find anything if you look hard enough in the land, uh, the living land. For that, the jungles uh, hide all manner of uh, strange manifestations of the goddess's will. Alternatively, it is also said that in the tunnels of Isle, there may be treasures that uh, make themselves known to heroes in need. Before, let me just interrupt real quick. Ross, uh, does Lady Salvo need any Cosm cards or Destiny cards? 
Oh yeah. Uh, both. Faux show. Yes, please. Um, new scene. <laughs> new scene. All right. Uh, go for broke. Is your cosm and how many destiny do you need? Uh, I will need four. All right. I have action. Glory. Whoa. Action. And leadership. Did you shuffle? I did. Is you guys saw me shuffling. Is that two actions? Two, two actions, actions, yes. Yeah, two actions, a glory, and a leadership. Uh, Edith got a glory, two hero cards, and a second wind. I can't imagine that's wow. going to not work out well for you guys. Yeah, those are, those are good cards. I got good ones, too. I have cards. Um, yeah, but you didn't get two of the same. No, but I got several really good, helpful, the plus three types for me, for you. Yeah. I can transfer possibilities. I can give a rousing speech to give us possibilities. So I guess the question, Lapis has always been at least two steps ahead of us. So if she's already on the run, would it make sense to try and catch up with her and continue to throw her off her game, which would mean going to Tharkold, which would mean needing to know where the wolf stand is? Or do we take a more circuitous route and possibly gain some more allies or information, but give her more time to dig in? Well, mm -hmm. or uh, move on and then and then we won't know where she is. Um, because she could just expect us to rush after her. We probably threw her off by not following her through the uh, tree portal. Well, I'm sure that was full of traps. Well, I'm sure it was too, but I'm sure that she expected us to come that way, and so now she doesn't know which direction we'll be coming from. Chica -chica. <laughs> <laughs> Unless she's got people uh, in the Delphi Council. I mean, no. That's always a possibility. <laughs> Um, Jam, would it be safe to assume that any hideout that Lapis builds would have some access to the godnet so that she can track people's movements and or utilize hackers? I say that one more time. Would it be safe to assume, I'm just trying to think of ways that we could track her, there's not going to be a lot of places in Tharkold that would have access to the godnet. So no. if we could ping yeah. a reliquary or something, would that give us an idea of where she's hiding? Because we would assume she would have something. If she had something, yes. But the godnet's main influence locations are right in the cyber papacy, which right now is France, a little bit of Italy, Switzerland, I believe, and then Brazil. Brazil. Well, I, when we get closer, I can try by clairsentience to try to pin, pinpoint. Remember, it led us to uh, Central Park, mm -hmm. and then I lost it, and she's like way far away. So she's she's on Earth. It's just too far to go. Yeah, she's there. I hesitate to even bring this up, but as a last resort, we could and. Lady Sava looks like she wants to spit on the floor. We could try and seek out the High Lord of Tharkold and see if he'd be willing to bargain. I mean, the El Presidente, the acting. Remember, the High Lord's dead, and there's a, kind of a fight of who's going to take over. So we we could potentially bargain with one of those two forces in return for Lapis's. He's location. supposed to be in ally of the Delphi Council. Big air quotes there. So they can't hear me right now, chat. I just wanted to say this is that best part of the game. You're on mute, bud. The GM, Can't hear you. The GM knows You're muted, John. Uh, that he gets to just listen to everybody talk and play. <laughs> oh, I know. I did that on purpose so that only the chat uh, got to hear what I was saying. That's really mean. <laughs> uh, 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 that's uh, so mean. Wow. Wow. All right. I'm stepping my game up. I've got all the technology. Okay. You do. You have Rude. everything. I control both the horizontal 
and the vertical. Thank you. You're welcome, Ross. No. That one was for you, bud. Yeah. You can no, 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 no. So which of these, 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 none of these options is particularly palatable or tasteful. Um, perhaps we could, we could put a, a, put a pin in it and wait until V's had another shot at the weasel. Well, I was going to say, did they confiscate all of the weasel's gear? They did. Can I take a crack at his gear then and see if he has any? So at this point, uh, uh, Simeon sort of returns and he puts down three clips of 45 uh, ammo. And you can see, Lady Salvo, that they are they are definitely silvered as opposed to sort of what you're used to seeing. This is all I could find. But. Three clips, I say out loud. And look at him. It's all I could find. Thank you. I'll take them, put them in my... He definitely my waits a second, like a beat, like he's waiting for the joke to land, and then... Oh! Oh, you're welcome! Hi, is there anything else I can get for you? Um, can I get a look at Weasel's gear? Anything that you have taken off of him? Um, I think so. Um, that would all be in, in Warehouse C. I could take you there. That would be great. And he just leads not, you back across the compound then. Not Warehouse 13. Not Warehouse 13. That's a different one. Okay. Um, it is spoken about in hushed tones. Um... So he leads you across this, and again, night has fallen. You can definitely see uh, there's still some glow coming from the ray, and there's smoke pouring out of it. But for the most part, the smoke is making that transition from sort of the black, inky smoke of uh, something on fire to the white steam of something that has been on fire that has been put out. And as you kind of walk, walk up the docks, he takes you to a warehouse, and uh, very soon you're, you're in front of, and again, this all seems very, not thrown together, but requisitioned quickly. There are a bunch of folding white tables that have been laid out. And there are people in lab coats that are currently scanning and going over the gear of the people that they sort of, you know, they, they pulled out of the bay from the helicopters that were shot, shot down. Or... Um, uh, the weasel's gear you very quickly find the weasel's gear it's the cyber eye it's several other uh, pieces of cyberware that were easily removable from the body as well as his cyber deck awesome I would like to try to hack his cyber deck and see if it has any information pertaining to the wolf stand on it um, all right, so I'm going to need a computer roll from you. Oh, crap. Okay. And um, this is going to be a very hard roll, which requires a uh, DN of 16. Peace, cake. Okay. Mm. I'm still uh, resting in the trailer, by the way. You're still resting in the trailer. Edith, are you are you following with V? Yeah, I'm going along. Okay. So it's it's Anton is currently uh, in his Zen state. Trying to see, ooh, see if I have anything that will help with this before I. Maybe a McAfee virus scan before you plug <laughs> it. Because obviously the weasel didn't have it. No. Is there any way to see if he has spiked this for outside users? Uh, if you want to do that, that is going to be a your first test, and that's going to be a much higher DN. Okay. We'll see what happens. All right. So this is your, you're, you're trying to check it for traps, essentially. Yes. So I rolled a 19, which is a 6, which gets me to an 18 for my computers, the first one. All right. It looks clear. 
do you want to spend anything on it? I will use my hero card as a possibility to add more to that. So that, okay. Ooh, that's a 10. And a 14. So 24 and 19 is 45. Plus 12. So plus 12, so that's uh, 24. Um, there is a very actually elegant, um, like infinite recursive loop, uh, set up if you don't have the right codes, but with a 24, you are able to like kind of detect it and move around it. And now give me your role to kind of analyze the data. Uh, I will just say that, uh, Greg is definitely in this, uh, the people's werewolves are powered by vodka loop. And I'm sort of enjoying that. And I think that that's going into my notes for things that, uh, to use against the, uh, the party. So we're, this so you said I, sorry, no, go for nope, it. go for it. No, no. What'd you get? You said I needed a 16. I did say you needed a 16. I got a 16. Exactly. All right. Um, so you start pouring through the data. I'm going to jump over to Lady Salvo real quick, and we'll come back to you. Lady Salvo? I, I merely wanted to ask, like, this warehouse is full of stuff, right? It basically. is. It looks like okay. most of the, the like, this warehouse has been requisitioned. So most, most of the regular kind of containers and goods, and what you can see is that the majority of the goods in this warehouse, on this dock, uh, they're, they're at least uh, 60% of it is... Uh, they look to be very fancy cars, some of which even you recognize, Lady Salvo. Um, like like the Rolls Royce, like an old Rolls Royce, that sort of thing. Like um, yeah. whoever is using this uh, warehouse is using it to store um, spectacularly nice cars. Okay, but I they also kept the Weasel's gear here, so I assume there's some area that's yes, this just... area that you kind of walk into. Um, you yeah. can see uh, Marines standing on the outside perimeter of the of the warehouse space they have commandeered. And they have set up these large kind of field lamps over uh, these white plastic fold-out tables that they've laid the gear out on. And the Tex and V are kind of going over it. I want to I want to catch V's eye. And I'm going to I'm going to hold up a, a, a God meter from the, the cyber papacy. And just sort of give her the, you know, the eyebrow, like, is this me? <laughs> I mean, you could probably pull it off. I just shake my head and put it back down. So you're looking to it's see how many times? Too, far too technologically advanced for my taste. Uh. <laughs> That's the gun that talks to you when you pick it up. It's like, you know. <laughs> uh, you do see this little... Uh some sort of little card that has a score on it. You're not quite sure what what that means. It's just a, there's a number next to it. It looks like it's live. Um, all right, so V, uh, you were looking specifically for the wolf's den. Correct. All right. Wait, did you say the car was alive? The card. Oh. Not the car. Had all these fancy cars, so it might have been a little VW. Night Rider? Shit, buddy, I need you. <laughs> Ross and I went <laughs> in the same place. <laughs> I was going a little bit farther back to Herbie, but that's right. I mean, Herbie's also valid. <laughs> uh, there is one crate, Lady Salvo, that definitely looks like it says property of the U.S. Army, but it's sort of burnt over. Um, you're not sure. <laughs> so the bird symbols burned off That's of it. That's right. Yeah. Um. All right. So V, you do see, um, you do see several references to the wolf's den. Um. There's a set of longitude and latitude coordinates. Uh. But there's all. It also appears in a series of, um correspondences between the weasel and the Frenchman and um, they they outline that the wolf's den will be sort of a fallback spot but that the recruiting will happen at La Chasseur which is sort of it, it is a bar in the cyber papacy known as the hunter um, 
it is a um, it is a place for bounty hunters, for mercenaries, for those who are kind of operating under the um, under the radar of the cyber papacy. And it looks so like, I know it well. Th- yeah, this it <laughs> looks like this is where a a number of um, the people that Lapis planned to employ uh, from the cyber papacy were recruited from. Okay. I am going to pick up one item and add it to my my your, inventory. Your inventory? All right, which item is that? Well, next Please. to that crate that's all burned up, there's <laughs> a bolt. What, what, uh, what item is it, Ross? It's a bullwhip. Yeah, it, there's there's a bullwhip, there's a hat, but you sort of like, eh. I'm going to hat. Yeah, it doesn't it doesn't fit. You may add a bullwhip to your to your equipment. Um, so here's the thing, V. Um, the uh, the Volki Logovo, the the Wolf's Den, is uh, as you pull it up. Uh, and you start like looking to where the longitude and the latitude is. Uh, it is not actually ever referred to as the Wolf's Den on any sort of modern or cosm map of um, Russia. It goes by a different name. There's only one building that, that satisfies that la- longitude and latitude. And that is someplace called... The Kremlin. Okay. Don't feed it after midnight. Just a shack in the woods. <laughs> Is it currently called the Kremlin? Or did it used to be called the Kremlin? Because it's Tharkhold now. Here's the thing about Tharkhold. It got really <laughs> weird because they nuked the Maelstrom Bridge. <laughs> Great. It was gone. Hence, werewolves. Radioactive werewolves. <laughs> they glow in the dark. Were- werewolves? <laughs> They're wolves. They're wolves. Roll, roll, roll in the hay. That's right. Proper <laughs> noun is a villain's best friend. Um, that was for the chat. Um, all right. So you guys, you <laughs> kind of gathered um, the majority of the data on the wolf's den from... Uh, you know who's from the weasels from the weasels can i I... was was cracking noise coming from your your right and it's lady salvo (laughs) and she's testing out this bullwhip to get herself across the she she definitely takes to the bullwhip (laughs) you know what i don't (laughs) um so the last thing i do is i'll i'll leave his cyber deck i won't take it with us but I will plant a file of the hamster dance, so the next time he logs in, <laughs> he's just greeted by that. Yeah, uh, so sometimes you have to play the nemesis <laughs> card in Torg, <laughs> and sometimes the nemesis finds you. <laughs> in bed the hamster dance. Are, are, are you going to leave a note that says all your base are, are belong to us? Right. <laughs> That's right. Someone set you up the bomb. No, I feel <laughs> Love like v. it's a hallmark between like between thieves, between hackers. Like the the really good ones, like the so-so ones get in, get out. They don't let you know they're there. The really good ones just kind of leave a calling card of like, I was here. You know I was here, but so, now you can't find me. So the hamster dance is V's uh, calling card? Mostly because she knows it'll annoy the weasel. Mm, she has better ones, right. but okay. for the weasel... Yeah. <laughs> it's worthy of him. That's right. <laughs> I mean, I could have made it Pop Goes the Weasel, but I felt like that was too on the nose. So, but hamster dance it is. So this is sort of your... Uh, it's not your primary calling card. This is more of your, your safety dance. <laughs> I just got a message from the chat that I should rickroll him instead. <laughs> I like to think that hackers have evolved beyond the rickroll, but we do resort to it every once in a while. That's fair. All right, so I don't. I don't think the hackers are ever going to give it up. That's right. 
<laughs> They're never going to let it down. Um, all right. So you have information on the wolf's den, which is kind of what you were yes. you were going for. Anton, yes. um, as you sort of come out of your meditation, you hear, <laughs> so do they, uh, do they do this often? Just sort of just wander off and leave you alone? <laughs> Oh, she's talking to Anton? You're the only other person watcher. in the trailer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that poor guy. Oh, all right, well, I think this one's broken. Um, Go find more silver bullets for Lady Salvo. Yeah, there are there are none. No then one you expected better go werewolves some. to be showing up here in Core Earth. You're not paid to think. Go find silver bullets. I'm not paid by you at all. Correct. Now leave me alone. I must... <laughs> think about my time in the pens. You hear, you hear uh, like, the screen door kind of... And as, as he leaves the trailer. I swear to God, if he comes back with two 12-packs of beer, I'm going to be very upset. <laughs> Pours light. <laughs> All right. So, what is now that you have this information and a bullwhip? The chat is certain that no, if you follow the dim thread tree, that Edith's coat will be fabulous by the end of this campaign. Um, what's the plan? My coat is already fabulous. <laughs> we haven't even deliberated enough. Fabulous. I don't, I don't think it probably has some leftover glitter. We need to take a look at a chair and just determine what it's for. Hmm. Uh, I do have that jump to conclusions, Matt, that you could, you could use. It's good. Um, um, on our way back to the trailer where Anton is, I would like to stop and talk to Quinn and requisition a case of wine for Listen, the weasel. We need to get you in touch with one of our quartermasters. I am... Right, the head of the Delphi Council. Well, just point me in the right direction, then. I just, you're really, you and Simeon are really the only two people I've talked to, so I don't, I don't really know the structure of this. Uh, let me get you in, in touch with Lewis. He's our quartermaster here. Um, just wait here, I'll call. Is there, have you figured out where the best place to go is? Where, where, where are you? I need to talk to Anton, but possibly. What about what about you and the Delphi Council? Do you know of any particular? She kind of shrugs. Oracles or unusual sources of information. I mean, we have a whole division of prognostication, which basically amounts to a lot of money that I'm flushing down. Um, there are spirits in the living land who apparently can foresee the future there are places in isle um, wells and springs that yeah um, there's even places in the cyber papacy where um, through um, psycho mathematics they are able to predict the future and divine paths sort of cyber oracles I've never that's, put much that's stock a new one on me. Never put much stock in them. Hmm. I wonder if a sufficiently advanced machine might be able to crunch numbers and make predictions based on statistics. If that is the case, and again, I have not found any sort of stock in that matter. It would provide a foundation for something to to build forward on. Hmm. But look at V. That definitely sounds like it might be up your alley. Do we already have something very similar to that? What do you mean? Just a machine that crunches numbers and... I mean, the cyber papacy is filled with the cyber faith and, right, some of those things... Right, there are miracles in the cyber papacy... But there are also technology that approaches the sort of the Asimov line of any sufficiently advanced technology is indistinguishable from magic. That's Clark. But Clark, yes. that's right. 
Okay. So I, don't know something I already, exactly, made, I already made my Asimov uh, joke. No, I can I can definitely I will put that on my radar, hey, Salvo. Let's see what I can I come up with. I will try and find some sort of transport for you. I just need a, a direction to point the pilot in. Okay, well we'll touch base with our comrade and we'll get back to you. All right. By the time you get back to the trailer, there is a a rather disgruntled looking um, bald man, uh, and you can just see Lewis written across uh, his flak jacket. Has it been another hour? Not really. Uh, according to my okay. clock, it's only been about uh, fifty minutes. Okay. Um, Quartermaster Lewis. Um, I have a special requisition for you. Um, if you talk to the right people, you'll get a nice cut out of it. And I will hand him a name of a vineyard in Picardy and say, look, the weasel's tongue needs to be loosened. Here's a good way to do it. But if you really want to stick it to him, don't hand him glass bottles. Just, just give him like a plastic sippy cup. Mostly because he's dangerous, but, you know. But this might help loosen his tongue a little bit. Thank you for your time. But also, it's a really nice vintage, so if you talk real nice to the owner of the vineyard, you might get a little something extra. <laughs> and he turns around and uh, just kind of heads away. <laughs> Chatty fellow. I, I, I don't think he was very pleased with that assignment. <laughs> All right, so the, the four of you are, uh, when you guys also get there, you can see uh, uh, Simeon is sort of playing something, like like swiping on his phone and swearing at it, and then kind of puts it away as you guys walk up. Simeon, are you playing with dating apps? No, no, it's those damn pigs. They just don't, it's, it's, not, the, it's not the point. It's not Candy Crush, huh? No, he has an Edith Crush. <laughs> Mark can have a possibility crunch. for that one. Um, <laughs> so, what's our plan? That's a very good question. So, right. Anton. He kind of opens the door for you. I'll make sure you're not disturbed. I like the way he goes, what's our plan? Like, he's in, in on it. Edith. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you guys, like, he closes the door and you guys are in this trailer. What is the plan? Anton. So I will uh, tell Anton what I found out and say, me? well, apparently the doghouse is something known as the Kremlin. Yeah, big red building. So where, sh sh Do not feed after midnight. The, the president there hangs out. Oh, so it's it's not like a little building, it's it's kind of a big deal. What's well, no, a nation? It's, nation's very capital. Big. it's a very big, big building. Can't Do you, miss it. Anton, have any connections who can get us information on this big building? Or uh, are we better off searching for other sources of information? Uh, so do it I know sounds like you have like does anybody have a connection card anyway yeah. no i wish <laughs> we did lady salvo and quinn have both brought up oracles in isle and the living lands quinn has brought up the possibility of one of these uh these uh, psycho historians in the uh in the cyber, cyber papacy and you do have a location on the wolf's den so now, I thought that we had put our foot down and we are not going to the cyber papacy. <laughs> I mean, Maddie's in favor of not going to the cyber papacy. <laughs> I mean, we're right next to the living... I guess the question is, do we want to go in now while she's off her guard, even though she's in the seat of the government in Tharkold? Or do we want to buy time? Is that where the president Volkov hangs out as the Kremlin? He kind of moved in after. 
Uh, no, so they actually have a different building uh, that Volkov is in. Okay, so that's not a direct. He is connected with mm -mm. Lapis right now, but she's in some part of the Kremlin. He would just tell you, you know, he well, just. Well, I mean, the remnants of the Kremlin, building. yes. The Wolf's Den is somewhere in the Kremlin. That's what we know. We also yeah. know that she was going to the Wolf's Den. Is she still there? What's she well, doing there? Start, so I can try to track her again and we'll have a better idea. Uh, so, up. yes, uh, I will say that uh, as far as you know, the Kremlin is the seat, is nominally the seat of Volkov's government. But but uh, the majority of the political power has shifted to St. Petersburg. So it's really, it's really That's where he went? Yeah. Yeah, so there's, it's still government official, but he hangs out somewhere else. Mm -hmm. So it could be she's got ties with someone else in the Kremlin, like anywhere else, you know. Got the money, you can play. But it's a big, it's a big building, high as security that we'll have to get into. I'm sure V can get into that. Or we can shoot our way in, follow Lady Salvo's lead. Normally I sneak in. <laughs> so Lady Salvo, what is the appeal for you of going to the Living Lands or Isle? Well, as, as you explained it to me, what was critical was finding out what her plans are. So you think you need some sort of magical oracle? I'm sorry to say I took a kinesis guy, not a telepathy guy, so I can't read the future. <laughs> I only have so many points. Dan, give me another 80 experience, and I will bulk up my telepathy, and we can read the future. I mean, start saving, Mark. I'm trying to. I'm trying to. But uh, I spent the points to be able to heal myself this time. I raised my kinesis, and it paid off. So if it's critical to find out what Lapis's plans are, we have essentially we have uh, two or three options in front of us. You know, one is to go where we think she is, bust in somehow, and investigate somehow. Option B is to go somewhere else, get the information from a, a, a third party, of which we have several options for that. And then C is to wait, wait and see what happens. Well, I have not really another option, but we know she got the list to find out where past members were. We know one member is in Tharkold, so if we know where he is, and maybe we watch him as bait, when she comes for Peacock, we can nab her then. Quinn didn't tell us where the other part of the list currently resides didn't no but you know that in soon it will be in israel do we know if israel has been warned that lapis is trying to steal this or no you have no clue i will touch base with quinn on that at some point when you say Even that i picture v going out on the dock and snapping her fingers at quinn and <laughs> yeah, that's hey, not. Hey, that's... <laughs> He's already like no. a quartermaster, but she doesn't care. <laughs> she cuts corners. Um, Edith, what what is your feel on this? You're the hunter in our group. I think that allowing the trail to go cold um, by seeking out an oracle is uh, a hazard think that we're better off following a hot trail as Anton says we know kind of what she's after in Tharkold uh, and maybe Anton will have maybe maybe we'll run into people that Anton knows that know things <laughs> or uh, you know we'll, we'll, we'll figure it out from there you don't need any money just bring lots of clean water and toilet paper <laughs> Not clean water. Better than gold. Or euros. Or What do, what do Greek sandwiches have to do with this? Oh, uh, do... now I'm hungry. <laughs> oh. 
Um, <laughs> <laughs> wow, that that is definitely true. That's what then got. should should we maybe make arrangements to get to Tharkold? Unless somebody has a really strong opinion otherwise, that's what I think. I think so too, because she went there and the target is there. Now we don't know who else was on the team and where they're at. I mean, Mark knows that one of them died, but that's beside the point. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we don't know where the rest of them are, so. And and if we don't go to Tharkold, it could be a while before we find out what happens there. And we won't know if she's moved on to a different target. Sure. She yeah, could to find out that, like, Archibald's dead, and then she's moved on to the next target, and we have to find out who that is. At least we when know that she's there. If she's close, she might go after him. So I think we should observe that team. Not tell them, just observe. And then when she comes <laughs> in, well, that way you tip them off. And more, the more, how do you keep a secret? Don't tell anybody. Oh, no, I'm just trying to think of the cover story we're going to come up with when we come up to Peacock. Hey, we just want to hang out with you. No, no, don't even just, just observe. <laughs> don't even... I'm not entirely comfortable with putting an innocent person at risk as bait in a trap. Nah, he's not innocent. <laughs> I feel strongly that since Archibald Peacock and Edith are from the same cosm, uh, we, can, we can figure out a source of commonality should we need to, but I bet we won't need to. Um, I've had so plan I... equals blank on my journal. Just <laughs> you guys, you guys do your thing. I'm just, uh, I'm just an, a passive observer here. You're having a lovely conversation with the chat. We know. I am. The chat's fantastic. We have the best fans. Just gonna toss that out there. All right. So Tharkold. I say Tharkold, and if we're in too deep, we can always check out Io or Living Lands or. <laughs> or die. <laughs> or just lay down let's, and die. Let's get a let's get a flight. Uh, okay. To the park hold then. All right. So we'll go find Quinn again. <laughs> Quinn. That's <laughs> all. Yes. Let me drop all well, of my. Okay. First my question. Very important question. Problems and deal with yours. Well, look. Clearly, <laughs> there is a security breach. <laughs> Has the next location for this list been warned of the attempt to steal the previous one? Of course. I have an active team of Storm Knights on site. Not just for that. Has one, the rotation the We've changed been the rotation. changed? Okay, great. That's all I needed to know. Thanks. So where can I get you? I assume you've come up with a, a goal I plan to pursue. Yes, we're going to need a lot of water. So we're going to probably need to talk to Lewis again. So far cold it is. Yes. See, he knows. He knows. I have no joke about that. Um, Geiger counter. <laughs> I will assemble uh, uh, five. Some sort, of rip, some sort of wrist mounted computer if you have one with lots of buttons. I will put the together a, uh, a set the vault of... Tech. We have, we have packs set up for each cosm. I will get you all a resource pack for uh, for Tharkold. Excellent. I I can try and get a hold of Volkov, but I'm not entirely sure that I want to alert him. He to... doesn't need to know. Please don't. I don't trust it. The race does not trust. It's it's likely that Lapis is working with him. Or for him. That is my concern as well. All right. I'll get packs set up for you. I'll get a a cargo plane ready to charter. I do have. And he kind of starts scrolling through a series of menus on the table and. I have someone that I can put you in touch with. He is very much along these sort of 
he's a storm knight in Tharkold. Um, sort of our our fixer on the ground. Um, Armand Jean-Jacques Raphael Matamoros de Torre. You can call him Armand. Um, he's from the papacy, but uh, we've embedded him pretty deeply into the Tharkold cosm and ecology, and I'll make sure that he's there to greet you at the airport when you land. We have a small a small location outside of Moscow that is still mostly usable by us. <sighs> Listen, I would not have assumed 24 hours ago that I would have a former Storm Knight as a major threat on my radar. You guys aren't even technically beta clearance yet, but let me just tell you that you seem to be the ones who are most intimately involved with Lapis. There are a lot of other issues going on with the When he war. says intimately involved, I'm just gonna, you know, touch my guns a little That's bit. The <laughs> Sisterhood of the Traveling 45s. Yes. Um, A I, don't, I need to know if this is a unique occurrence and who is funding her if it is. If it's not, if somehow some faction of the High Lords are working together. It could change everything. It could. Up until now, our main strength has been the fact that we are unified and they are each concerned with claiming the idea the crown, the title of Torg for themselves. Only the Gaunt Man seems to flip between Cosms with any sort of stability, any sort of reason. If this goes deeper than just Lapis, we need to end this threat before it becomes known. There's a saying among Storm Knights, uh, never trust the GM. I mean, the Gaunt Man, that's what it stands for. <laughs> Not the, they're equivocal. It's a, a hive of High Lords sounds like a very bad thing. I would agree. Very well. I'll have the jet, or the plane, I should say, fueled and ready to go in 45 minutes. Gear stowed. Listen, I don't, I haven't interacted with actual field teams in a while, but good luck. Thank you. We appreciate all you've done for us. Don't trust Volkov. There are people I would say don't trust, except if you can get a get it in writing, get an, an official wording from it. There are beings in these cosms that are evil but follow some sort of personal honor. Like Althorian? Like Althorian. Volkov. Volkov would slit his own father's throat if he thought it would get him what he wanted. And the problem is, we don't know exactly what he wants. Be careful. Power? I think what he wants is power. And as we all know, those who want power should be the ones kept farthest away from it. All right. I will get your gear set up for you. Um... Anton can fill you in on how awful Thorgold is. Um, oh yes, Anton, please do share. 
It is lovely in the summer when the cesspools glow green. All right. All I'm going to say is when you go to the Tharkold source book, when it when it finally comes out, and you go to the page 47, which is where the gear starts, there is a picture of someone holding what looks like a sack, uh, like like that you would hold gear in that has a mouth, like not just a mouth printed on it, but a physical mouth that has a tongue sticking out of it. This is what you guys are heading into. They help you cast spells. Sure, they do. Some sort of Cronenbergian cyber nightmare. That's right. All right. Well, is there anything else you guys want to do while you're in Core Earth, New York, before you board a C-130 and head towards Tharkold? Wouldn't mind making my roll for my hour. Oh, Go for shit. it. I I, I'm, just, it. I'm going to say that you guys have enough time of travel time that you guys can recover your wounds, you can make your, your mend rolls, you can make your strength rolls, and when you touch down in Tharkold, you will touch down ready to go. The only thing I want to do before we leave is, is find a chapel. The, the aircraft carrier probably has one. Yep. And pray for a while. All right. V, Edith, is there anything you're doing while uh, Anton Menz and Lady Salvo um, find solace in uh, in the chapel of uh, the Reagan? That's um, weird. <laughs> that does. Like, I think technically the statement was accurate, like grammatically. <laughs> Um, would like to, if I have any time, see if I can trace any leads on the college student that I'm supposed to be tracking down. All right, give me time. a computer's roll. And then, Edith, what are you doing? Um, I don't have anything right now. All right. Because Edith doesn't really have technology to, uh, you know, reach out to a community and ask... So you finish prepping your, your alchemical bolts. Right. Is there anything... So I know you said that you wanted uh, your silver. Um, I think also um, fire bolts or uh, like something, something to banish darkness. <laughs> so let's see here. Your choices are adamant bolts, which um, are armor-piercing four, um, electric, which add four da damage if they are water-based or standing in water, and will fry out electronics, you are going to Tharkold, which has a high level of technology. Explosives, which do a ton of damage. Uh, giant Killer, which do plus five damage against large or greater targets, which you do have Cyber Demons. Um, holy water shells, phantom shells. So holy water are good against supernaturally evil creatures. Phantom shells are good against, um, or sorry, it's bolts, which are good against ethereal creatures. Silver ones, which you are doing, and then sun ones, which uh, explode with a UV light, which are good against um, any Anything creatures that, that uh, are. Uh, uh, so if, if they have a vulnerability, any creatures hit by them are very vulnerable if they have a sensitivity to light or sunlight. And most creatures that can naturally see in darkness are affected by a sun bolt. All right. I would like UV bolts and giant killer bolts, please. All right. So you can keep and maintain six bolts at any given time. So you tell me which, like, just write them down. You have six special bolts to use with your crossbow. Like two, uh, two, and two, or all of one type, or you just have to keep mixing and matching. Yeah, I think um, one UV, two giant killer, and three silver. One UV, two giant killer, three silver. All right, I got it note notated. All right, V, what did you get? Roll to sixteen. Right. Well, 16 total. You are able to try track down this student that you were hired by um, 
nervous parents to try and locate and get out of the cyber papacy. And um, with a 16, which is a good success, you definitely find out uh, some information on her. It looks like um, she has been captured by the Order of Saint Columbia, which is a mem which is one of the three orders of the Inquisition. They are the ones who are tasked to eliminate witchcraft in all of its forms. I didn't expect that. And you no know. one expects. <laughs> Um, she is currently being held near Marseille. You also know when the Inquisition gets their hands on somebody, a timer starts running. Okay. All right, 45 minutes later, on the runway, the sound of the C-30's engines as they roar to life kind of dampen all of the noise around you. And the four horsemen, your cargo, your gear sort of uh, strapped down in the center of this plane, walk up the ramp and begin their journey to Tharkhold. And that's I read the Sky Mall. What was that? As you look for your Sky Mall. Sky Mall. Yeah. Uh, we did have somebody suggest that, uh, who was it? Uh, Doll Hip? Nope. Uh, 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 the Maxis quick uh, said, quick, or the Maxis said, quick, contact Amazon and have them deliver a pack load of Life Straw personnel, personal fizzlers off to Tharkold. So, uh, unfortunately, uh, the Delphi Council does not use Amazon, but your gear is stored safely on the cargo plane. And with that, we will end our session for tonight. Uh, thank you to my four horsemen, uh, who I just continue to enjoy running this game for. Uh, thank you to the chat. I love the interactions. Our producer, JD, is constantly sending me updates from the chat. I know that several of our horsemen follow the chat um, to interact and kind of pick up on that. So as always, just thank you for showing up and interacting. We love it. Um, we will be back in a week with more Torg. Check out all of the other great shows on the Ulysses International channel. Uh, there's Fading Suns. Uh, there's Heretical Musings, which is also about Fading Suns, uh, where Bill and others talk about the game as it's uh, getting ready to come out. If you have not checked out the Fading Suns introduction PDF on Drive-Thru RPG, go check it out. It is a great intro to the world. It has uh, got some great sample art. That is going to come out in the game. It looks amazing. Speaking of products to check out, you can check out Campfire Tales or Campfire Chats with Ross and I on Thursdays, where we talk about myth, uh, tales of legend. Yes. Yes. Haha. -ha. I've been watching yeah. Dawn of Heroes stuff, so I almost said that. Um, and you can check out the Quick Start. Uh, it is also on Drive Through RPG. Um, the Lost was, Barrow. Yeah, check out The Lost Barrow. I wrote the adventure. Ross wrote the rules. Uh, it's a fun little introduction to kind of show you what myth is about and how to play myth. If you have checked it out, please go to the Campfire Chats on the Ulysses uh, International YouTube channel and just leave us comments so that we can, we'd love to interact with you. You can find you can find me on Twitter. Let me know what you think. I'll pass it on to Ross. Leave it on the, uh, the YouTube channel channel even heck comment in on on the chat if you've looked at it we will be running the lost barrow here shortly on thursday nights so we're gonna take a break from fading suns in between arcs and come back uh and do the lost barrow I'm gonna hopefully have ross in there with me as we uh we journey through um the mystery of the lost barrow although if you download it you probably will have a good idea of what the adventure will be like uh we will be back in one week with more torg set in tharkold uh, which as ross pointed out i do tend to lean into the cronenberg kind of aspects of, <laughs> of tharkold uh you know uh bags with mouths on them people with faces tattooed on them that sort of thing um but we will see you in a week 
Thank you all for watching. Thank you all for playing. I am uh, JM the GM. This is the Ulysses International channel. We are uh, Iconic Production, and thank you all for tuning in. Stay safe and good gaming.